Yo, so today's question is, yo, Elliot, do you have some advice for a young man that's struggling with loneliness? And I want to open by saying that it's very rare in this world today to find a single person that's ever actually alone. I mean, it's almost pathological. You can't get away from other people. You're constantly being surrounded by those in your family, those at school, those in your city, those at work. And even if you're not physically around people, we're carrying them around in our pockets. I mean, it's constant interaction. So to say that you are alone in a world that's so connected is almost impossible. But of course, being alone is not the same thing as loneliness. Like you could be alone by yourself the best you can be and not feel lonely. But you could also be around lots of people surrounded by activity, lots of connection and feel completely lonely. Lonely is more of an emotion. Aloneness is more of a state. Loneliness is more of a judgment on the fact that you're alone and you don't like it. And even in the midst of people, that loneliness can eat at you because you wonder how to get through. Why can't I create the type of connection that I want with the people that are around me such that even though their presence is near, I can feel connected, not lonely. Well, this reminds me of a chapter in the book Iron John, which is a great book written by Robert Bly for men, where he says that men, in particular young men, need to be mirrored by older men. In other words, men need to be seen need to be praised, need to be recognized by older men, mentors, fathers, grandfathers, uncles, older men. He also says that when a young man is in the presence and is receiving the mirroring that he needs from an older male figure, he's receiving a sort of soul food, food for his soul. In other words, it's something deeply nourishing to the mind and the soul and the body of a man to be mirrored, to be seen. So you could be around lots of dudes, older dudes, even dads, but not be seen. And that is, according to Iron John, a trauma to not be seen by older men is a trauma. And I would dare to say that we have a generation of young men that are not being seen, have not been seen, are not mirrored, are not praised nearly enough by older men, by mentors, by father figures and such. And so you wanna know, what do I do when I find that I am not being seen? That's really what it is. Your question is not, I don't think the loneliness comes from being alone. I think the loneliness comes from not being seen enough by those who may even be physically near you and me. But there's a principle. There's something you can do. There's a way you could think about this. There's a paradigm from which you can proceed to deal with this and a lot of different things in our lives and that is to give what we want to get. We got to give what we want to get back. That's a tremendous principle. That's super important is to recognize that if I want to be mirrored, I want to be seen, then I should take it upon myself to see other men, young men, people, boys that need to be seen. By you giving that away, by you sharing your gift of seeing someone, you open the door to be seen yourself. 
just like the principle plays out with money. You got to spend money to make money. You got to give something to get something. It plays out with your attention. You start giving your attention to those who you notice look like they may be lonely, even if you have a little bit. There's a story in the Bible where Jesus talks about the old lady that comes to the temple with just a penny. And he says, look, she gives that penny and that penny's worth more than the you know, maybe thousands that that other guy gives because he's rich. You might not have that much. You might not be mirrored enough. You might not get that soul food that you're craving for. And even if you just have two pennies of that love within your heart, give that one penny away to that younger version of you, that younger male, that boy who ain't getting it at home, he ain't getting it from his teachers, he's surrounded by women, he ain't got no older brother. It may be you. You may be the one that gives him the food that he needs. And then, as they say, when the tide comes in, all boats rise. So that's my thoughts on that. That's my opinion on that. My heart goes out to all of y'all, anyone who's struggling with loneliness, but the remedy is to be seen. And the way to get seen is to see other men. Done.